Hi right, guys, uh, this is another video for the R2D2 part 2. Um, what I'm doing here today is just basically doing part of the eyepiece and I'm going to be uh, basically like smoothing out the, uh, like the dome part with some uh, polyfiller. What you can see here is uh, basically I'm just uh, drawing the outline of the part of uh, R2D2's uh, eyepiece. What I've used, uh, as you can see just before, which is basically just one of the, the, the scoops you get inside uh, the baby's tin feed. I'm just going to use scissors and just cut off the arm so it literally just a slot in the hole that I've already uh, drawn out and I'm going to use the uh, hot knife just to uh, cut it out. Just as you're watching this guys, I just want to uh, reiterate that obviously all this is uh, completely new to me, all the uh, techniques, all the uh, materials and that uh, are completely like uh, new to me. I've never done any of this before obviously apart from the previous videos that you've seen before. So if anyone is actually watching this and, uh, and they know anything about this at all, uh, like how I can improve or different uh, materials to use, uh, could just like you know send me an email or leave me in the comment box below, that would be uh, greatly uh, appreciated. What you can see here is basically the uh, as I cut off the uh, part of R two D 2s uh, eyepiece is uh, basically if you actually look at a real R two D two is that the eyepiece isn't like completely all the way in it's sort of like got like a uh, like an actual lens on the inside so basically what I did I just I just circled round uh, the actual eyepiece again and I cut out a bit of foam and it's basically just going to slot in uh, it's going to be like flush so it looks it's like it's flush with the rest of uh, the actual dome part of it so should turn out all right i'm really not too sure it's basically at the moment it's just like an actual experimental phase so i'm hopefully it should turn out the way i want it to okay we're coming up to the uh, the gluing part here uh, if anyone's thinking of doing this themselves just be careful at this part because i actually naff this up a couple of times uh as you can see, I'm pushing it in in there. Basically, before I glued it and I didn't give, I didn't put it in quickly enough, and it basically went hard and almost like collapsed the whole thing. I had to like pull it out and it almost like to, uh, started to rip. Uh, but I managed to uh, correct it and it turned out okay. So I was uh, quite pleased with uh, how it uh, all come together. Right, and obviously this part here is the uh, polyfiller part. Um, this is where I was on about earlier on. I wasn't too sure if I was using the right materials or not. So if anyone like can think of anything better to use, uh, whack it in the comment section below, and obviously I can maybe use it for future builds. Uh, this went on really easy. That little pot that you see there, uh, really really cheap. It cost me about four bucks. I think so. If you're in the UK, probably about two pound fifty. Uh, but yeah, really uh, really 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 cheap. Uh, and it only took about an hour to go hard and then ready for uh, sanding down. Yeah, this is obviously after I've just put it on, it's still wet, I'm going to put it down and uh, let it dry for a little bit. Uh, obviously when it's dried, this is the sandpaper that I used. Uh, the sandpaper was really cheap, it cost me about two bucks, so probably about uh, one pound uh, back in the UK. Really inexpensive, you can get it from any hardware store. Okay, I went off and uh, sanded it down and this is uh, what I've come up with. Really quick, really easy, took me about five minutes to do. Uh, anyone can do it, it really wasn't like rocket science or anything like that. Layer of uh, PVA over the uh, top of it, which is basically because obviously it's polyfiller, it's going to like crack and it's going to like chalk up and that. Yeah, this basically just like helps it keep it all together and it just makes it you know easier to uh, work with uh, as uh, time goes on. I just want to say thank you for everyone to watch in. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve and obviously with uh, materials, put them in the comment box below. Uh, click that like button because it helps my channel grow and uh, more videos coming soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.